you are looking for unrivaled tuning bandwidth, transmission distance, immunity from IFB and camera hops in a bag, and excellent 10 to 20 kilohertz audio quality, look no further than the A20RX two-channel true diversity digital wireless receiver with SpectraBand technology. It comes in three backplates, XLR, TA3, and SuperSlot. So you heard me talk about SpectraBand technology, which offers more than one gigahertz of tuning bandwidth in 25 kilohertz steps from 470 to 1525 megahertz. Now that's an industry first. The A20 Mini and the A20RX are both compatible with SpectraBand. Gary, do you want to tell us a little bit more about that? Sure. Uh, SpectraBand, as you said, 470 to 1525 megahertz, something we're very excited about. It's a very wide tuning range. It's going to be a single transmitter and receiver solution for a lot of production sound mixers. It's going to be very cost effective, uh, good for rental inventory as well. Uh, if you're in a congested RF environment, uh, it's going to allow you to find open spectrum in alternate bands that you maybe didn't have with your older kit. It's going to give you worldwide operation. You can set the country and whatever country you're in will be able to tune to their legal frequencies within that overall bandwidth. Uh, we've got an example here of United States operation where on my first A20 receiver, I've got it set up for operating in the UHF TV band around 580 megahertz. I've got my second one set up for operating in the STL band around 950 megahertz. Uh, if we come down here to the screen, you can see the tuning band here. If I select that, you can see all the different tuning bands between that 470 to 1525 in the United States where we can operate our transmitter and receiver. Now, two of the key features we brought across on the A20 Mini are long range modulation mode and gain forward. The long range modulation scheme offers the best range of any digital wireless system out there. It's phenomenal. Even at low RF power, you get excellent range. And with gain forward, you no longer have to adjust your trim gain on the transmitter. You can adjust the trim gain actually on your eight series or whatever mixer you're using. It's actually like just plugging in a wired microphone. Now we all know about the problems that high powered IFB and camera hop transmitters can have in a bag setup and how they can affect the range of wireless transmitters for your talent. Not so with the A20RX. Gary, can you tell us a bit more about that? Sure, so the A20RX, we've tried to tackle this problem of high powered IFB and camera hop transmitters. What we've come up with is over 20 different filter options for the front end of the A20 receiver. So what that means is you're gonna be able to go into the A20 receiver, select a filter band, place your talent wireless there, and it's gonna filter out anything outside of that tuning band. So if you have your camera hop, your IFB, outside of that filter range, you're gonna get excellent performance for your talent labs, and you're still gonna be able to have a relatively high power transmitter close to your receiver. Hmm. So essentially you don't need to use any external filters anymore because they're all built in. That's right, you don't need to put external filters on there because they're all right in the A20RX. Great. So Gary, the A20RX is a two-channel system, and yet there's four receivers in each A20RX. That's Tell right. us more about that. Yeah, so there are two receivers per channel. Uh, you've got an A antenna and a B antenna. Each one of those has its own receiver. So we're taking the RF signal coming in and we're decoding it to the ones and zeros of the digital signal. And we have those two separate digital signals for each audio pass we're able to Pick the best signal in any particular situation, gives you the most robust RF performance, even in hostile RF environments. Now, one of my favorite new features on the A20RX is the time-saving auto-assign feature. Yeah, tell us more about that, Gary. Sure, yeah, we're excited about the auto-assign function. It's gonna speed up your workflow if you're operating in a fast-paced environment. So you've come in, you've done your scan, you've selected a tuning band where you're going to place your transmitters. So now all you have to do, in this case, I'm coming into my 8th series and I'm just clicking on auto here and you can see auto assign is going to start to scan for clean frequencies. So the first A20 receiver in here is going to scan through the tuning band and it's going to show me the frequencies with the lowest background noise level. They'll pop up here on the screen. All I need to do is select them and assign them to my receiver. 
Great. So if you'd like to learn more about the A20RX, please visit our website, sounddevices.com. And if you'd like to learn more about SpectraBand, there's also a great article on there. Thanks for joining me and Gary. See you next time. Mm -hmm.